Thank you very much, Victor Howell. Uh, we're going to talk about the game, Deuce McAllister, but this was a running backs game on Christmas Day. Uh, before we get to Camara, has Deuce McAllister ever scored six touchdowns in a football game in your football life? You said some key words, football life. Never in the NFL. The most I ever scored in the NFL were three. I did that twice, but uh, in college I scored four. Uh, right. But there is some moments, I think it was twice in high school, where I was able to score six touchdowns in a game. But uh, I'm not going to tell you the final record for the, the those two teams that we, we were playing because they, they weren't very good, but I'll, I'll, I'll leave it at that. I knew you had a six touchdown game in you. Well, let's fast forward to 2020, which has been a crazy year, but Alvin Kamara really could have had probably seven touchdowns in this game, but he gets six and he has a, you know, another big day and he gets the contract this year. I mean, what can you say about Alvin Kamara and his effort in this football game, Deuce? Well, you just see how tough he is as far as not only a competitor, but just to be able to tackle, you know, and I made the comment a couple of times, Alvin is not 230. You know, he's not a guy that's 240 pounds. A lot of times you see a guy like Derek Henry that makes people bounce off of him and he uses that vicious stiff arm. But Alvin will make you miss in the hole. He will break tackles. And you see, you saw it time and time and time again. His first run, he goes for 11. You know, in his last run on that uh, that first drive, it was 40 yards. And the only time he got touched was by the safety that was whipping at his ankles. And so I think he was so sudden to the hole. There was a couple of times that he had great hesitation. He was able to pause, stop, be able to get behind his pads, you know, and he was just, he was a dynamic playmaker for this Saints offense. And I thought they needed him, but they were, they were running the football so well up front, the offensive line, the tight ends and the fullback, they were just creating space. And so it was, it was good. Such a balanced effort for this offense. I mean, Breeze doesn't have a touchdown pass, Deuce, and they get over 50 points in this game. I mean, you got to love the balance in this offense and, and just everything you saw, uh, especially from a week ago when Drew was rusty and it looked like uh, the chemistry wasn't there at times with Jared Cook. I mean, everything that was kind of negative a week ago, I thought was positive this week. Well, it was positive in a sense. I mean, because you can still go through and say, hey, look, you got to get better at this. You got to get better at that. You know, we got to catch the ball. We can't give easy interceptions away. They did have two, probably should have had three. You know, we just got to get on the same page on a couple of things that we're doing uh, from an offensive standpoint. But I mean, I thought the balance was really, really good. You were able to hit uh, Emmanuel Sanders on a go route. You were able to hit him on a couple dagger routes. You know, it was the deep out, the quick out. Um, for, for Marcus Callaway, you were able to hit the go route. Uh, you saw a couple of all go specials, uh, go routes for Jared Cook. So, I mean, I, it, it, was, it was impressive. And then, and just from the running back standpoint, you know, you were able to get everybody really involved from the fullbacks to your two tailbacks that were playing. And then Taysom comes in and he cleans it up. So, a lot of different weapons. And you did all of this without having your starting two guards. I mean, and so you, you, you miss both of those guys. And Hurst, he steps right in. And it's, it's almost like, Man, this 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 offensive line, they're mauling people. And without Michael Thomas, so they're going to get him back eventually for the playoffs. Uh, this has to be a good confidence boost, obviously, for Breeze. You know, he's feeling better out there. And, you know, Jared Cook and Emmanuel Sanders, especially Emmanuel Sanders, just getting used to Drew at this point. But, I mean, I mean, Deuce, you touched on it. They could play better, but they get 52 points, and it could have been so much worse in a lot of ways. Yeah, it could have been so much worse as far as point score. Definitely, I agree with you. You know, you didn't punt. You know, at one point you were on pace to have 300 rushing yards. You still ended up with like 263, which is unheard of in an NFL game. But I think you had like 130 at the end of the first quarter. Yeah. And so there's some things that you can improve on. You get Michael Thomas back. You get Deontay Harris back. I mean, and you start putting those weapons together, get those starting guys back as far as offensive line. You know, the question becomes, how good do you want to be? Yeah, I talked to Marshawn Lattimore about this. Uh, all the 2017 draft class knows Deuce is winning division titles. They've won four in a row. Nobody's ever done that in the NFC South. You've been around this franchise for a long time. After three straight seven and nine seasons, it's impressive what they've done under Sean Payton, winning the division four years in a row after, you know, subpar season three years in a row there. You better enjoy it because I don't know. I mean, we've never seen an NFC South. And, you know, the disappointing part about it, when you can look at it, you don't have any Super Bowl appearances with that much talent uh, on your squad. Now, you've been to the NFC Championship game, but you don't have the Super Bowl appearances, and that's probably the most diff 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 different piece of that whole puzzle that makes it so difficult for you just because there's a ton of talent, and it's hard to keep that group together. I mean, you're going to lose a couple guys just because salary cap and how much they're going to command on an open market, but I just say enjoy it as much as you can. 
I always like to talk to you about offense, but on defense and so not having Trey Hendricks and not having Marcus Williams, that obviously hurt the defense in a number of ways in this game. Well, it definitely hurt them. I mean, because both of those guys are playmakers, but you had some other guys to step up. I thought PJ Williams did a nice job. He didn't get beat over the top. He did exactly what did you want him to do as far as the free safety is concerned. You know, you had uh, Granderson that played a little bit more. You had uh, Davenport that played a little bit more. And Cam was able to come in and get a sack, but I thought both of those guys, other two guys did a really nice job. So hopefully both of those guys can get healthy. I mean, because if that D front is coming like it has consistently this year, it's, you're going to only be better. All right, finally, Deuce, just talk to Breeze about this. I know you're a big family man. Christmas Day tricky. When you're working on Christmas Day, you had a little time this morning. You know, you're not playing. You didn't have to worry about meetings like Breeze and some of the players. But uh, how was your Christmas? Do you have any leftovers, uh, unopened presents at this point? Well, I got a couple of things that I didn't open, and I, I really didn't get a chance to eat with the family. So I'll get to go home and do that. But, I mean, as long as they're happy, I'm happy. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm tremendously blessed, and we were able to help out a couple of other people. So I think it's more about giving and making sure that my kids understand that it's about giving. And, you know, it's not always about me, me, me. So I think, you know, at the end of the day, uh, if we can continue to make a difference, that's all that matters to us. Absolutely. Great message there. Well, belated congrats on your sixth touchdown performance back in high school. A very Merry Christmas, my friend. We will talk in Carolina, but enjoy the rest of your Christmas. I appreciate your time. No problem. Merry Christmas to you as well. And yeah, I'm going to go find those stats for you. I mean, because they had to, they had to be amazing for me. <laughs> I want to see you in Carolina. Thanks a lot, Deuce. Uh, that'll wrap it up from here in the Superdome. I'm going to throw it back to Victor and Shanley. And uh, Victor, you got out of Shanley back in the eight-man football days. Does Shanley have six touchdowns in a game? Inquiring minds want to know. Back to you.